In the third year at the academy, the nature of your studies alters somewhat. The number of large lecture classes gets fewer and fewer, and the barrage of in-class tests and end-of-semester exams reduces. Instead, you find yourself in smaller seminar groups, and if you're on the command track, as I was, you do more and more practice scenarios. I did not fail to notice how many of these involved encounters with Cardassian ships. By this point, the border conflicts that we now call the Federation Cardassian War were well established and showed no sign of slowing down. Our tutors were preparing us for this conflict. There were some practical additions, for example, field medicine and surgery courses. I have certainly used these in my later career, not to mention the memory training techniques we were taught in Hawke's physiology classes. This background rumble of potential conflict was something we were all keenly aware of, and I recall numerous late-night conversations among friends as we pondered what it might be like on the battlefield. Life was full and busy, and we were far enough away from graduating to be able to put aside our worries for a little while. By this point, I felt that I had the right balance, combining studies and my social life, and keeping at or near the top of my classes, getting downtime in the gardens, as long as nothing happened to disrupt my equilibrium. Naturally, this was the moment I chose to fall in love.